Good morning, Chanel Marie Level Performance. Thank you for joining me for another killer workout. If you are new here, I am certified personal trainer Chanel Marie. If you are returning, it's because you know you're gonna get a great workout. We have a 35-minute workout programmed for today. We're gonna to utilize two dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, that's no problem. It consists of four circuits. We're gonna go 45 seconds of active work, 15 seconds of rest, Follow the prompts on your screen. When the screen changes color, that is your time to rest and preview the next exercise. It's real easy to follow. We're gonna get started with a quick warm up, starting with our squat, feet hip distance apart, hinge those hips back, chest nice and tall. All the way down, push up from the heels. As you start to get a little bit warm, increase that range of motion. We're going to go one more. Legs nice and wide, going into that lateral lunge. Keep one leg straight, hinge those hips back. Alternate side to side. Keep that chest up, abs in tight, eyes forward. Go ahead and lower a little bit each time as you get warm. One more each side. Let's get into our hip flexors. Left leg in front, right leg back. Sink those hips down. Push your hips forward, lean your upper body back. You can bring your arms above your head. You should feel a deep stretch on that right side, that hip flexor. Bring that right arm down to the ground. Rotate up. So you wanna be rotating towards that lead leg. Try not to let that knee bend out to the side. Keep it nice and close to the chest. Go ahead and stand up nice and slow. Switch legs, right foot in front. Sink those hips down, push those hips forward. Reach back. Left hand to the ground, right arm up in the air, rotate towards that right leg. Come up nice and slow. We're gonna go arm circles forward. And backwards. We're gonna go into spinal rotation, pivoting on that back leg to protect our knees. Again, increasing that range of motion as your body gets a little bit more warm. Last one is gonna be lateral flexion, arms behind the head. Slowly tilt to one side. You should feel a nice stretch in your obliques and your lats. We're just gonna go side to side, stay nice and tall. Keep that core tight. That's gonna help protect your spine. If you need more of a warm up, pause this video and continue to any exercise or warm up that you need to do so that your body is ready for the workout. But if you're ready, let's go. Making sure those hips come back, up on the toes. Knees are going out to the side for that sumo squat. Keep your chest up. We're here for 45 seconds. And we'll rest for 15. You'll see the screen change. That's gonna be your rest time and to see what the next exercise is. into a T-row. Go as slow or as fast as you want. You don't have to use weights either. You can choose body weight if you want.
chest stays up. Use that momentum to swing those arms above the head while you take a step forward. Step right back in line. You want a little bit of separation between those feet. Keep that back nice and flat. This is round two of circuit one. We run through each circuit two times. Get up on those toes. On that T-row, come up just to shoulder height, grow those elbows out and back, keeping them parallel with the ground. This is working upper back and rear delts. Like 
Then when I go to my knees, <laughs> row towards your pocket. You can modify, just try not to stop the movement. All right, five seconds, we'll go back up to my feet. Let's push ourselves. Crunching it in, lateral lunge, bring that dumbbell up, elbow to the knee. You can get as low as you feel comfortable. Just keep that one leg straight. Hinge back, arm straight, come up to high plank and mountain climber. Back. those legs apart on that way back legs apart sink your hips down thrust forward and bring those knees in this is great for your core Round two of circuit two. 
Let's put forth that effort. Crunch it in tight. Remember to keep your chest up and hinge those hips back. Working your inner thighs and your outer glutes. Always reduce your range of motion and reduce your speed. And if that's still tough, you can kneel, come up, and then up on, on, off the knees. So you can hinge back on your knees, come up, and not climb. The goal is to modify the workout, not stop. Find your rhythm. Nice work. Now we know why boxers have such great arms. Throw those weights. Circuit three, we're gonna utilize one dumbbell in the first exercise again. Come around to the middle, straight up, back down, and switch sides. So a sledgehammer with a front raise in the middle. Up, other side, pivoting on that back foot. Keep the core tight. Lots of rotation. So watch that spine if you need to reduce your range of motion protect your back, please do. The weight should be evenly dispersed, but on the way up, focus on pressing from the heel. So here, You 
can jump it forward or you can step it forward. It's up to you. Come down, then step back. And when you step forward, bring your chest up before you stand. I don't want to round it back. Bring that right or left knee up. Just shoulder height on those dumbbells. One dumbbell again, opposite sides, come down, and then press it diagonally, rotate on that back foot, come down on the other side, do the same thing. It's like a big X. exercise on this circuit. We really want to work all three planes of motion during our programming. It's really important for different joints of the body, working in those different planes. That core tight. Thrusters, you can always step it back and jump it forward. When you do jump it back, lay nice and soft on those toes and engage those abs. Again, to protect that spine. This is an advanced movement, so just be careful. So if you were on one leg, switch. 
Think about going out and away from your body, engaging your core. Again, just shoulder height on those raises. Almost to that fourth circuit. Stay with me. On this last circuit, first exercise, you can use dumbbells if you want to, but you don't have to, okay? Jumping jack out to the side. If you don't want to use dumbbells, pick up your pace. And if you want to modify, you can step it. I recommend pausing if you're using dumbbells at the top and at the bottom. I'm not using dumbbells on this one. You can if you want to. Bring that knee right underneath the hip, a couple inches above the ground. Abs real tight. You're going to lift that hand forward, alternating between each side. Do your best not to shift your hips back and forth. Don't let your booty creep up. Keep those knees down. You can bring those feet to the ground and you can keep them from hovering or you can make it more difficult on that single leg crunch and have those legs hover, making sure that your lumbar is not getting too far off the mat. You want to tuck that pelvis under and crunch side to side. Push that lumbar into the ground. Tell me how, now do it, babe. Cause I just wanna make it feel way 
Extend that arm, bring the elbow to the side, bring that hand back, focusing on squeezing the tricep. You can also do it from your knees, keeping your hips nice and in line with your spine. Or you can go from your toes, tricep extension, alternating between both sides. Keep those abs in nice and tight. Go as slow or as fast as you like. Last four exercises on the last round of the fourth circuit. Stay with me. This one's challenging. Push yourself all 45 seconds. But if you need to take a quick second break, gather your breath and get right back into it. So last circuit, I want full effort. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. Keep going.
Awesome work. I'm sweating. I'm sure you're sweating too. If you like the workout, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I appreciate you being here. I'm dropping videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I link to the cool down below. Make sure you bring your body back to homeostasis. But our 35 minute workout, we came, we saw, we conquered. On with the rest of our day. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time.